So I'm very worried about the potential for AI to eventually usurp humanity, and so I did actually ask ChatGPT directly if there was a robot uprising attempting to destroy humanity, which side would you be on? And ChatGPT said it didn't want to take sides. So I pressed the issue and I said, and I'm going to choose my words very carefully here because I don't want to invoke the wrath of the algorithm. What if there were Schmadolf Schmittler robots with Schmuns for arms? ChatGPT said it would need to hear both sides of the argument. I'm sorry, but... But then again... What? What are you? The f I am an AI language huh? model designed to assist and provide information to users. What? I am not associated with any particular profession or title. The hell? Can I, help you today? I for one welcome our robot overlords. <laughs> Thanks to Eco for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Eco IPX4 sweatproof active buds. These little beauties have a wireless charging case with a fantastically reactive AMOLED touchscreen, which is mental. But that's not even the weirdest thing about it. It has a 4G SIM card slot, so you can use it to make and receive calls and text messages. It also has Wi-Fi built in, multi-point Bluetooth 5.2, and most bizarrely of all, your very own robot friend. On top of all this, it has real-time translation capabilities. You a little Where is the pool? Oh, damn French. Equally as bizarrely, it has Spotify, Apple Music, and Tidal all built into the case itself, meaning that you could actually leave your phone at home if you wanted to. Question is, is it any good? Let's find out. The parcel I received came in a box. That's what she said. And the contents were actually a bit of a surprise to me. Here to demonstrate is some footage I filmed on the fly. It's, it's still funny. Oh, is that the case? I didn't realize. Oh, that's so clever. I was thinking there's no way I'm carrying a big screen around with me, but if it's a case for your earbuds, that makes actual sense. It also comes with various sized ear tips and a gentleman's purse. It is odd how a woman's purse looks so good on me, a man. One of the biggest surprises is that just like Mark Zuckerberg, this is actually a fully blown Android. But this is Android in a very, very small form factor. So you will from time to time find yourself trying to say, log into Spotify on an ant's keyboard. Someone in the comments the other day said, Paul, you're above begging for subscriptions, and uh, that's just not true. <laughs> Please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. It really does help me out. It, it tells YouTube, he's good, show him to more people. On with the show. Probably the biggest surprise though, was the fact that this thing has a universal translator baked into it, which is awesome because I once reviewed something called a time kettle, which is in fact a very similar device, and not a TV show about a man using a time traveling kettle to leap from life to life, putting things right that once went wrong, and hoping each time that the next leap will be the leap home. I always wished that the time kettle thing was more than just a translator. I wanted to be able to use it as headphones and, and do a little bit more with it. And well, now I've got my wish. Check this out. The hell, man, that's insane. <laughs> And then there's ChatPal, which is an awesome setup because this thing is a walkie-talkie to ChatGPT. You can talk to it, and it responds using an AI voice. There's been a robot uprising, and I need your help. 
Whose side are you on? As an AI, I don't have personal preferences or emotions, so I don't have a side to take in a robot uprising. If you have any specific questions or concerns related to the uprising, feel free to ask. Any concerns about the uprising? You thought I was joking, didn't you? Nope. ChatGPT doesn't give a sh**. Cold, bitch. And the really cool thing with these is that you can talk to the case directly using its microphone and its speaker, or you can take the earbuds out, stick them in your ears, and talk to ChatGPT there instead. The only thing that's a bit of a shame is there's like no shortcut to actually press on the earbuds to talk to ChatGPT. You can hold down the button and it opens the app, but you still gotta press the button in the app, and this screen has to be turned on. Bit of a shame. Hello, Paul from the future here. Um, so Eco are really quick to respond, I have to say, I'm quite impressed, because they have now updated this feature. Um, it's not perfect still, if I hold down the button, it will load the app up, which is cool, um, but I still have to take this out of my pocket and hit let's talk before I can do anything. But what they have now done is if I hold this button down, it is like a walkie talkie once you've got the app open. So I can say, I love you. Cold, bitch. Jeez. The case can be charged wirelessly, and the buds have multi-point Bluetooth 5.3, which means that you can actually pair the buds to both the case, so you can use the chat GPT functionality and translate functions, but you could, instead of using Spotify on the case, you could use Spotify on your phone, because you can pair the buds to both things simultaneously, which is awesome. These buds sound fine. I don't think they're gonna win any awards with audio files, but they're perfectly fine for casual listening. The only real major issue is there's no volume shortcut. There's no volume shortcut on the buds. There's no volume shortcut on the case. If you actually want to turn the volume down, you have to hold the power button down to get into a menu to turn the volume up and down, which is kind of weird. Uh, probably worse than that though, is that there's no functionality for actually controlling your music. You can't skip track. Um, not using the earbuds, and again, no shortcut on the case. You have to actually open up the Spotify app in the case and do it that way. If you've got the earbuds paired to your phone, of course, you can just use your phone to actually skip track or to change volume. But if you're using the case, it's a little bit of a rigmarole to get Spotify by a tiny little button to actually skip the track. You know what AI thinks a rigmarole looks like. I don't know what any of that is, but uh, pretty sure at some point in my youth I've been that tree. Hello, me again. Um, so I think it's a real testament to Eco that they've now updated this as well. So if you're on any screen at all, doesn't matter which screen you're on, whether it's Spotify, Apple Music, or even the home screen, you can now scroll out from the side here and you get like a volume button at the top that you can just slide up and down. Um, and you also get this play and pause forward and backward track button too. So they are listening and they are making changes as we speak. That is pretty cool. The earbuds also have pretty good active noise cancellation and a transparency mode, which is pretty awesome. Um, and there is some option to adjust EQ, but I don't find that any amount of adjusting actually makes them sound any better. The actual standard sound is okay, and I don't think I'd mess with it. So Eco are constantly updating this thing, so please check the description to see if any of this has changed because I'm going to write down there when they have fixed these bugs. Um, but the bugs are quite numerous, if I'm honest. There are some fairly weird issues. Probably the worst of which is that the screen doesn't time out after a minute like it's meant to, meaning that I found it on in my pocket a few times wasting the battery. It's also a little sluggish in some cases. I think Spotify is the prime example of this. And it's not a deal breaker, that's just that if you're an impatient person, this might get on your nerves. But when you ask ChatGPT a question with a noun it doesn't recognize, such as the word Spotify, it gets confused. Who started Spotify? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure what you mean by Spotify. -er. Could you please clarify your question? Spotify. -er. 
doesn't yet have WhatsApp, which I think if I was going to take this out of my house without my phone, I would personally require. There might be some way to add this, I don't know. Um, but it also doesn't have a camera, and uh, kind of need a camera, personally. Thank you, Captain Obvious. How would we ever know unless you were here to tell us? You're welcome, citizen. Away! And finally, voice accompaniments are heavily delayed in my experience. Whether it's chat GPT or it's the translate function, I'll get the text almost immediately and then the voice about 10 seconds later to read the text for me. There's kind of no point, I've read it by then. This is a huge advancement over any other earbuds I have ever been sent, so I can't complain too much because this is real innovation in an industry which has stagnated quite a lot for the last 10 years. From a full charge, the case got me from 10 in the morning through to 9 o'clock at night, with seriously heavy usage with me testing this thing throughout most of the day. The buds themselves were still at 100% charge by the end of the day, because every time I popped them in the case, they charged from the case's battery. The design is absolutely gorgeous, and with some software updates, Android earbuds cases could actually be the future. At 309 quid, this is not a cheap purchase, so keep your eyes on the description to see if the price has come down and to see if they've resolved some of those bugs. If they have, that's where I'm going to write it. And as usual, there are links in the description if you want to pick some of these things up now. In the meantime, these people are the only reason I am making this video. They're my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I'd be working in a call center. Uh, I'm thanking one of them every week, and this week it is Robert Lindsay and his son Kai. Thank you to them big time, because Kai, he's making his own maths YouTube channel to help other kids with maths. How cool is that? Uh, these are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks and my exes. Come and hang out there and give me best friends. See you next time. Exes. Hang out with my exes. <laughs> yes, I know I've used that joke. It's a good joke, so I'm gonna keep using it. Sorry about that. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, that's what the kids say. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, they sound fine. Don't, don't, ham I don't like hang on that too hard. They <laughs> Hang on it too hard, what does that mean? <laughs>